This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an American brand brass barrel padlock. Now, every time I've seen one of these locks, they have been marked and packaged for government service, and that's the case on this one as well. If we look at the back, you can see it's marked US set, and if we take a look at the packaging, we will find a national stock number. You can look that number up and learn that it currently only refers to laminated brass padlocks. That's because the US government split off the solid body brass padlocks a number of years ago. However, what we can learn from it is that this originally came in a set of 30 locks, all of which were keyed differently, but master keyed to each other. Now this is an exceptionally well-built lock, probably too well-built. It weighs about three quarters of a pound, which is remarkable given that we just have a tiny little six millimeter brass shackle. And that's of course a very low security shackle. I can't think of any logical reason to have this beautifully machined round brass body. But if you know of why they did that, I'd appreciate you putting it in the comments below. It seems to me a very expensive way to build a padlock that doesn't appreciably add to its security. And that's probably why we are not seeing locks like this anymore. But instead, these laminated locks, this is a pack lock. I know of another made by Abus and Master Lock. And these provide the same level of security, but weigh much less and probably cost a whole bunch less as well. In any case, what we're gonna do today is see what it takes to pick into this lock. We have a normal American lock keyway there. So I'm using top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar. And I'm also going to put another tension wrench in the bottom. That's just to make sure I don't mess up the soft brass body with the hard steel pick. Okay, one is loose, so is two. Little click out of three. Click out of four, it's still binding. Another click on four. I think we got four set now. Five is binding. Hmm. But not moving. Okay, I think we got five set. Back to the beginning, nothing on one, two. Click on three and we dropped into a false set. Nothing on four or five. Nothing on one. Okay, some feedback on two, but it is not counter-rotating. Let me check the other pins. Three, four, five. No, it's definitely two. So let's manually counter-rotate that with my pick a bit. And I think I overset it, but I let off tension, it dropped back down, and we got the lock open. Okay, so it's pretty much what we would expect from an American lock. I felt at least one spool and there were definitely some serrated pins in there as well. In any case, an absolutely beautiful little lock, very well made, I guess overmade is the word I would use, but also something that we don't see anymore. And in fact, I have never seen outside of government use. That's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.